Hello kids, welcome back to Bright Academy's Mathematics Zone. Today we will study about subtraction. Let us begin with two simple sums. The first sum has 56 minus 13. You can see this is the minus symbol for subtraction. And above 6 I have written U. It stands for units that we can also say as ones place. Okay. okay. Now when you take away 3 ones from 6 ones, we are left with 3. Now we have 5 tenths minus 1 tenths. So we'll count the numbers after 1 to 5. That is 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 4. So we'll write 4 under the tenths column. Okay. Go to the next sum that is 769 minus 354. We'll start with the ones column. Now we have to see after 4 how many numbers we have till 9. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We get 5. Now after 5 how many numbers we have till 6? That is 1. We will write 1. Now in hundreds column take away 3 from 7. So after 3 how many numbers we have till 7? 4, 5, 6, 7. That is 4. So we will write the number 4. So we got our answer 415. Now we will go ahead with our next sum. That is 52 minus 13. Now kids, always remember we cannot subtract a large number from a small number. So as you can see, in the 1's place we have 3 subtracted from 2. Now how do we subtract this? We will borrow 1 from our neighbor. That is the 10's column. So we will strike off 5 and we will take 1 10's from 5. So 5 minus 1 will be 4 and this 1 tenths we will give away to 2. So we will write the 1 beside the number 2. Okay. Now it has become 12 because 1 tenths plus 2 ones is 12. Now take away 3 from 12 we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 9. So we will write 9. Now take away 1 from 4. So after 1 how many numbers we have till 4? 2, 3, 4. So, we'll write the number 3. So, this way our subtraction will be done. Clear? Now, we'll go ahead with the next sum. That is 964 minus 748. Now, again the same thing. We cannot subtract a large number from a small number. So, we'll borrow 1 tenths from the digit 6. So, we will take away 1 tenths from 6 tenths so it will become 5 tenths okay and this 1 tenths we will give away to 4 ones so it will be 1 tenths plus 4 ones equal to 14 okay now we will subtract 8 subtracted from 14 so what numbers we have after 8 till 14 we have 6 numbers now again similarly we will subtract 4 from 5. So when you subtract 4 from 5 we get 1. Now we will go to the next column that is 900s minus 700s. So we get 2. I we will go ahead with a subtraction problem sum. Look at the question. At school there are 672 children. 345 of them are boys. How many girls are there? So they are saying there are 672 children. Among those children, 345 are boys. So the leftover are girls. So that means you have to subtract 672 minus 345. So after subtraction, you will get your answer. So I want all of you to do it with me. Okay. 672 minus 345. This way we have to show it while we are doing a subtraction problem. Now we will start our subtraction. The first ones column you cannot subtract because it is a large number subtracted from a small number. So we will borrow one tenths from the tenths column. So the seven tenths become six and this ones column it becomes 1 tenths to ones that is 12. So 5 subtracted from 12 is 7. So now we'll go to the tenths column. 4 subtracted from 6 
we get 5, 6. That is the number 2. So, we will write 2. And then in the hundreds column, we have to take away 3 from 6. So, we get 3. So, how many girls are there? 327 girls are there. I hope you all are clear with it now. Thank you so much.